Good afternoon. So yesterday I uh, had some technical issues, so the end of my previous video was not recorded and I didn't notice. Um, and you didn't notice either because most of you stopped watching after three minutes, so no, uh, no harm uh, done. Uh, I was talking about the dots, so I just want to go back to that and just discuss a little bit more um, these programming techniques with dplyr. So the dots, what they allow you to do is as the programmer of a function, not having to uh, think or um, you know predefined the number of arguments that you want your users to use um th th this is the dots is our general concept they this is has nothing to do with tidyverse or dply or whatever this is an art thing so um basically what you can do uh, is you can say well i don't know what my users want i don't know how many variables they want to count so instead of uh, for forcing one or two or three or whatever i just put the dots the dots get captured with quotes and they get evaluated with three exclamation points so here uh, below i have two arguments i have three arguments i have four arguments it works okay so you could add five six whatever you want so this is pretty pretty useful now um some of you also talked about the curly braces that you see here so the curly braces are more recent okay a more recent addition into this uh, tidyverse uh, way of programming functions let's say and um, i don't use them as much uh, mostly because out of habit i'm so used to this uh, and quo, bang bang, quos, triple bang, etc. A workflow that I don't think about using the double curly braces. Um, they make it easier because you don't need, so you just need to write this curly brace, double curly braces and the name of your variable, or rather in this case variable, and uh, you don't need the uh, and quo, bang bang workflow, okay? However, um, so I'm, as I said, I, I don't use them as much, so you might want to check the documentation, but they seem to be less flexible. So I just tried it before filming with the dots uh, and it doesn't work. So maybe there is a way to use the dots with the double curly braces, I don't know. Um, I wrote a blog post that I also linked in the description of the previous video that I will link here again, that talks about this uh, double curly braces. Um, but that was maybe two years ago now, so um, I mean it probably changed a lot since then, so you m might want to read the blog post, but then read the documentation, maybe the dots, I don't know, maybe it's a triple curly braces or whatever, uh, so m maybe you want to, um, yeah, to just check that. Now, uh, the other thing I want to show you is a more uh, complex function, uh, just to, um, yeah, just to show you how you could use this in a more realistic use case where you have for example two variables so one variable uh, by which you will group so you just use in quo here again another variable by which you filter so you in, in use in quo here again and then just the condition um, for your filter so you just use it as as usual so there's really not much um, to say Be you have two variables well you just in quote all of them and then you just use the bang bang uh, to just call them you could of course also this should also work use two curly braces so let's try it out so instead of writing this i could uh, also just uh, so i'm going to try a uh, an advanced vim trick so let's see if i can do it live so it's already it's it's already not starting very well so Okay, and then, mm, no, then I do K and this, oh, I wanted to, like, not have to write the whole curly thing, so it should be with K, and then, oh, it worked, but only w once. Yeah, so you can, like, um, so you can, uh, like, uh, select around the world, the word, the word, and then if you press K and then you press what you need, you have the, you know, you have the, the thing coming. But I just, you know, wasted more time than if I did it manually. So this is the problem with Vim sometimes. Well, this is not Vim, it's Spacemax, but it's Vim mode. Um, is that sometimes you want to do uh, some very neat tricks and you, you waste more time than, <laughs> than if you just do it manually. Anyway, let's see if this works. This should work. Um, this should work, but let's try. If not, well, too bad. But yeah, it's it's working. 
Um, yeah, it's it's working just like before. So you can also use the uh, curly braces if you have more than one variable. So I won't discuss how you can programmatically because you can programmatically also rename the um, the the columns that you mutate or that you summarize, etc. Um, this is explained in the in the blog posts. And again, those blog posts are starting to be old so maybe read the documentation because i think there's been a lot of updates that you might want to check out anyway so this was really just to discuss the dots and to um show you this uh, double curly braces that were mentioned in the comments of the previous video i don't use them as much but uh, they might be uh, i mean they, they might be worth your time if you read the documentation it's a bit easier it's also maybe easier if you're trying to explain this concept to uh, and some person that doesn't use r so much so you just you can just say well you know you have this uh, curly braces and i think that might be easier than this in quo bang bang thing which is a bit uh, abstract even for me even though i use it um i'm not entirely sure of what's exactly going on under the hood but it works so that's all that matters. Anyway, um, as I said before, uh, if you, in the previous video, if you enjoy these videos, consider subscribing. I'm preparing some a very interesting video to celebrate 500 subscribers, which should happen soonish. Um, and I also will I will also link in the description below a survey that I've been running for the past uh, couple of days uh, about typing speed and keyboard layout. So um, it takes you two minutes. So if you have some time please fill it out, that'd be great. Thank you very much and enjoy your weekend.